Hey everybody, welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Michael Nolan. Tonight we're going to be talking about Foreigner. We're going to be talking about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And we'll be discussing why Foreigner isn't in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And then we're going to take a look at the possibility, perhaps in the future, when Foreigner is finally inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, just who in the hell would we induct? All right, so as most of you know, I'm a huge Foreigner fan. There's no doubt about that, but I've also been very critical of the band, especially in the last couple of decades. You see, the band that is touring now as Foreigner has one original member left associated with the band. And I say associated, and the reason I use that word is that Mick Jones, when the band is touring, often doesn't even show up. And when he does, folks, it's after the concert's already gotten them all cooked up, he's there for about a half hour, 40, 45 minutes tops, and he's, you know, limoed out. And so what's left is a band playing to an audience, a group of musicians, excellent, no doubt, and not one of them was in the band when the music was actually created, recorded, and already toured to death. Now, I mean absolutely no disrespect to the musicians that are touring as Foreigner. Evidently, I've not seen them. Uh, they sound absolutely amazing, all right? And I give them credit for that. But I see them basically as nothing but a tribute band these days. But that gets us to the question of what I know to be Foreigner. And you know what, on that thumbnail you clicked, those are the five albums that I would say there. Anybody that was on those records would be foreigner to me. Now, that's my cutoff limit. Maybe a few of you have yet another cutoff limit, or maybe it even goes further than that. Maybe you have accepted foreigner under any guise whatsoever. I want to hear about it in the comments. But here comes the question. Why isn't this band, now think of the hits and of the 80 million records this band sold, all right? And we're going to talk about that because we're going to be getting in to an interview that Kelly Hansen, the band's current lead singer, gave on the whole matter. But think about it, folks. Whether you like the band Foreigner or not, or they're just, yeah, they're okay, or they're the second coming. It doesn't matter. You have to admit, this band was part of the soundtrack of a lot of our lives. Foreigner, along with other bands such as Boston, Journey, Kansas, and at least half a dozen more, Styx, you know, they kept rock and good Popish rock alive on AM and FM radio. And guess what? They're still played constantly, not only on the more heavier classic rock stations, but also on the more popular classic rock stations as well. So the first question tonight is Does Foreigner belong? in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. All right, so this gets us into that article I was talking about, the interview with Kelly Hansen, the current uh, lead singer for the band uh, Foreigner, of course. And uh, the article is very uh, interesting here. It starts off by saying, in a new interview with the Houston Press, Foreigner singer Kelly Hansen addressed the fact that the band is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and has not even been on the ballot for consideration yet. Now, we've talked about that on the channel before, haven't we? He says, now this is Kelly speaking, 
As an entity, I find it unusual that a group of people can have an arbitrary standard from which they decide who is in this substantial sounding titled Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They cite as one of their criteria as influence. Well, how many people have picked up a guitar and tried to learn cold as ice? or hot-blooded, or even sing, I want to know what love is. Now, I mentioned this before. He goes on to say, this band has sold 80 million plus records, and that's real records, not streams or downloads. That is the definition of influence. Now, the article uh, wraps everything up in a nutshell here uh, with a former quote from Lou Graham, the former lead singer and co-writer of most of Foreigner's hits. And uh, he was asked in an interview why he thought Foreigner hadn't yet got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And that's when he said, I think it's less about whether we're qualified and I think it might be more on a personal level now. I know that at some point when a lot of our compatriots were being nominated and accepted into it, the bands and the artists that came up when we came up that were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and we were left out. I believe that's when our manager at the time and Mick went to go ahead and see them. He goes on to say that uh, evidently heated words were exchanged at that meeting and that Jan Winner, the head of Rolling Stone magazine and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at the time, told the Foreigner's manager that it would be a cold day in hell before Foreigner ever got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. All right, so with all of that in mind, uh, the question is, first of all, does Foreigner belong in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I say absolutely. There is no doubt about that. But this comes on the heels of this interview with Kelly Hansen, the current lead singer for the band. And uh, it, I believe this is just him talking so that he can get nominated into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with the band. And that's where I have a problem with this whole thing here. You see, like I stated before, the band today is not what I personally consider to be foreigner. And that's my question for the tribe tonight. Is this current iteration, this current incarnation, a foreigner still foreigner for you? And if so, give us your reasonings. I'm, I'd be curious. I don't believe so myself, but uh, I'm only one opinion, folks. That's how we generate comments on this channel. But now here's another question for you. If they were ever inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, who goes on that list? I mean, if Foreigner were to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, who would we induct? Again, I, I, I'm getting confused here, folks, because you know what? There's another list I'd like to look at right here. It is a list of 26 musicians who have been considered members officially as foreigner. I don't know, uh, all 26? Do they all get in? Or is it the band that created my favorite albums? Or whatever favorite albums you have? That's the whole discussion tonight, folks. I mean, you know, Jan Winner has ruled the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with an iron glove, well, since its inception. And he's still pulling strings from uh, behind the curtains. I've already brought that up on this channel. So uh, it's going to have to be a real kind of write-in type of thing from the fans. It's going to have to be a buzz created on the internet, here on YouTube perhaps, share this video. Let everybody know what you think because I think it is an absolute shame and we've covered other bands that should be on this list too. And feel free to bring those up in the comments as well, all right? 
But this is a shambles, folks. But we've got Missy Elliott up there. Oh, man, thank God I was worried for her there for a moment. But what a shambles. I cannot believe this. This band needs to be nominated yesterday, in my opinion. All right, so if you enjoyed the video tonight, please give it a thumbs up. That helps the YouTube algorithm better identify the channel. Uh, the channel grows as a result. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you've just been watching for a while, it is so easy. All you have to do is hit that subscribe to the tribe button, then tap that top bell icon, and you'll be notified of all of my future videos. All right, I'm Michael Noland, and together, folks, we are the tribe. I'll see you in my next video.